I just got done watching Insidious Chapter 3, which James Wan only produced this movie. He didn't come back to direct this movie, but this is the director debut of Lee Wan Nell, who plays Specs in the Insidious series. Uh, Angus Sampson return, Lynn Shay, and this is a prequel to the first movie. Now, um... A little bit of spoiler in case you haven't seen Insidious Chapter 3. But I loved how um, when Elise was in the further and got to see Josh Lambert's house. Uh, that was like, like, I remember watching this in theaters. I was like, oh my god, no way. And we got to see Parker Crane actually choking out and basically just about killing Elise, which we see that in the first movie. Uh, this movie cost about $10 million to make, and it was a big success at the box office. It grossed $113 million. Uh, Patrick Wilson said in an interview that um, when asked if he would return for the third movie, and he was like, Josh has been put through the ringer uh, these last two times, so I have no idea what else story they could do with Josh. I think his story is complete. What do I give this movie? Well, I give this movie a 6.6. .6. I think it's really good. It has a lot of good jump scares. And if you watch my um, thought video uh, review on Pray for the Devil, and I said, well, if you can handle Insidious, you can handle this. Well, you know what? Insidious is actually a lot scarier than Pray for the Devil. Pray for the Devil is very tame compared to the first three Insidious movies. Yeah, but 6.6. .6, I think it's really good. It's uh, another great uh, sequel, and usually when you get to the third movie, you're just kind of like, hmm. But yeah, this was definitely thumbs up. If you follow Rotten Tomatoes, it's actually got a 57% of Rotten Tomatoes. So yeah, enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I don't remember the last key, but I'm going to either watch that one either tonight or tomorrow. But anyway, have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching.